Hi, Firsties. Let's read another story about a spring vacation now. Let's go see what Fluffy did on her spring vacation, on his spring vacation, I mean. Let's go find out now. Fluffy the Brave. Who will take Fluffy home for spring vacation? asked Miss Day. I will, said Emma. But you have a cat, Emma, said Miss Day. Fluffy would be afraid of a cat. Wrong, thought Fluffy. I'm not afraid of anything. I have two cats, said Emma, and a dog, but they are old, and they do all they do is sleep. They won't hurt Fluffy. So Fluffy went home with Emma. The brown cat is Jack, Emma told Fluffy. The orange one is Jill. Nice kitties, thought Fluffy. This is Skippy, Emma said. Woof, woof, thought Fluffy. That night, Emma and Fluffy had a tea party. Then Fluffy went to sleep under his straw. Do you see them? She's pouring them tea. It looks like Fluffy is having a great spring break. In the middle of the night, Fluffy heard a noise. He opened his eyes. Four big yellow eyes were looking at him. Yikes, thought Fluffy. I'm having a bad dream. But it wasn't a dream. It was Jack and Jill. Don't mess with me, cats, said Fluffy. Jack patted the door of Fluffy's cage with his paw. The door opened. You are asking for trouble, said Fluffy. Jill poked her paw into the cage and pulled Fluffy out the door. You'll be sorry, said Fluffy. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think they're going to eat him? Let's see. Jill picked Fluffy up and carried him into the living room. She put him down on the floor. I have sharp teeth, Fluffy told Jack. Jack showed Fluffy his sharp teeth. I have sharp claws, Fluffy told Jill. Jill stuck out her sharp claws. Okay, cat, said Fluffy. Look out. Fluffy ran at Jill. He jumped at Jack. He ran and jumped and growled. Fluffy did not see Skippy coming up behind him, but Jack and Jill did. Their eyes got very big and they ran away. I told you not to mess with me, cats, Fluffy called after them. Then Fluffy turned around and he saw Skippy. Don't be afraid, Skippy, said Fluffy. I scared the cats away now. Was it Fluffy that scared him or was it the dog? Hmm. Fluffy did not know how to get back in his cage, so he followed Skippy to his bed. Fluffy laid down beside the dog. Wake me up if the cats come back, Fluffy told Skippy, and I will take care of them. Then Fluffy the Brave fell asleep. Chapter 2, Fluffy the Explorer. Where do you think that Fluffy will go next? Let's go see. I'm going to get a haircut, Emma told Fluffy. Dad says you can come too. Why, said Fluffy, my hair is just right. Emma put Fluffy in a shoebox, and off they went. They walked into Sandy's haircuts. Will you watch Fluffy? Emma asked. Sure, said her dad. Emma went to get her hair washed. Her dad sat down. He put the shoebox on a chair, and then he started reading. Fluffy sat up. He looked in the mirror. He saw so many guinea pigs. Do you see it? There's so many. And then Fluffy climbed out of his box. Follow me, pigs, said Fluffy the Explorer. We will go where no pigs have gone before. Are those really other guinea pigs? Silly Fluffy. It's just him in the mirror, right? Fluffy saw a mountain. He started climbing. He went up and up, but the mountain started shaking. Earthquake, cried Fluffy the Explorer. Hold on, pigs. Is it really an earthquake? No, she's just moving the basket of clothes. He's silly. The earthquake tossed Fluffy into the dark. We must get out of this cave, said Fluffy the Explorer. Follow me, pigs. Fluffy jumped out of the cage. Look where he was, the washing machine. Just in time, too. 
The ice is slick, said Fluffy the Explorer. Watch out, pigs! Fluffy led the way over the ice. It's not really ice. That's a mirror, guys. What's this? thought Fluffy the Explorer. It was a big silver thing. Inside was a monster. The monster started to roar. Jump, pigs, cried Fluffy the Explorer. And Fluffy jumped down. Is this a big monster? No, it's a lady getting her hair done. Silly Fluffy. But the monster was after him. Run, pigs, cried Fluffy the Explorer. Run for your lives. Fluffy ran under a big rock. It's not really a rock, it's a dresser. Emma showed her dad her short hair. Then she picked up the shoe box. Dad, she cried, Fluffy's gone. What? said her dad. Emma dropped the shoe box. Fluffy, she called, where are you? Here, Fluffy, called Emma's dad. Uh-oh. What if she lost Fluffy? Will she be in trouble with her teacher? Fluffy saw that the monster was far away. He saw the shoebox on the floor. Follow me, pig, said Fluffy the Explorer. He ran out from under the rock and jumped into the box. We did it, said Fluffy the Explorer. Good work, pigs. Emma came back and sat down. She looked in the box. Fluffy, she cried. Where have you been? It's a long story, thought Fluffy, the explorer. Did you notice that Emma in this chapter got her hair cut? And she got it cut really short. Let's go ahead and stop our story here and take out our read and respond notebook. Read and respond notebook. Take it out now. I'll get mine. Mine is pink. Yours might be another color. Open it to your sticky note. I wrote that I would like to go to Mexico on vacation because I really want to take my family to see the pyramids there. Where did you want to go on vacation if you could go anywhere? Hmm. I hope you did your best and shared with the class. We're going to go to the next open page now and we're going to talk about haircuts. Do you like to get your hair cut or do you not like to get your hair cut and why? So we're going to write... Either I do, if you like to get your hair cut, you're going to write, I do. If you don't, you're going to write, I don't. So choose one. Which one is it for you? I do or I don't like to get, do you hear it? Get my hair cut because and remember because b e c a u s e because why do you like to get your hair cut or you don't like to get your hair cut and why why is it because of why and then of course you'll draw a picture of you getting your hair cut right and just do your best it doesn't have to be the best picture but maybe if you're a hair person, is it a girl or a boy cutting your hair? Now I'm going to put some scissors here. They don't have to be the best, right? Getting a haircut. And color it in to share in the morning. I can't wait to see who likes to get a haircut and who does not. Bye, firsties. See you tomorrow.